Okay, here's my entry. Crystal radio, stuff laying around the shack. Three toilet paper rolls bonded together. I started out with the blue wire, the 30 gauge uh, insulated wire, but I only had enough for about, I don't know, 70 wraps, 80 wraps. That wasn't enough. So I took apart this little AC motor, come out of a rotor, rotator control box, unwound one of the spools, one of the bobbins, and got enough to put uh, 120 turns of enameled wire on there. And I put another tap. I actually have two taps. The blue tap is the entire coil and the uh, enameled wire is just the enameled wire, about half the coil. And razor blade, blew that up with a uh, butane torch there. Just using push pins on cardboard, some paper clips, and I've got that going over to my camouflage Radio Shack amplifier so we can all hear it. And for an antenna, I'm just using some clip leads clipped up here and there. So it's not even on a, a real antenna. What I've done now is I've removed the razor blade pencil cat whisker type detector and replaced it with a modern diode. That's a 1 in 34 detector diode. So we put it across our coil in place of the cat whisker and razor blade. And now we have uh, the Suns game on again. The bad thing is it's not tunable like this. This is somewhat tunable. I mean, it's kind of luck of the draw, but I was able to get two stations, 1260 and 620, on that. But uh, this is decoding, detecting, and uh, rectifying whatever audio it hears. You hear two or three stations in there. And what I'm going to do next is look at that tuning device. I'm going to put this air variable cap in there across the coil and see if we can make it somewhat tunable. Now, granted, I think that's only like a 70 picofarad cap, 4 to 70 or 4 to 90 or something like that. It's not very big. So we'll see what happens. Okay, this is interesting. We've got the capacitor here with one lead hooked up. And we're still hearing multiple stations, primarily 620. And now we'll hook the cap up. The reason why he's stepping out is because they knew that a long drawn out fight that is 550 KFYI. Good signal, and that's anyway. with the capacitor is fully matched. I didn't even touch it, I just hooked it on there and bam, and there it is. In a general election. So one of the guys said, you know what, for the interest of us even having a fighting chance in this, I'm going to step aside because my Pretty cool. other Democrat friend that's what running if I is that. a viable candidate, and if I step aside, he's got a fighting chance. So I'm going to throw my support. We'll get some money behind this guy. Let's see if we can win this race. And at some point, we've got to stop throwing the stones because right now it's not just about money. It's about the rock throwing. It's, it's about all of this um, commentary yeah, that's cool. out there that... Um, so you can select no different good, caps Mitt or liberal, and is this. more and value. We understand against the backdrop of what is in the White House right now that any one of these candidates would be a vast improvement. But by virtue of the choices that the American people are making across this country in primaries, Mitt Romney is winning. Now, I'm not saying let's clear the slate, but the question needs to be asked. Isn't that what looks to be on the horizon? You know, the new 2012 Fortune 911 goes from 0 to 60 in 4.3 <laughs> seconds. In a Put a switch on it now. <laughs> Two-channel AM radio. Yes, they do. Then they're doing good. So this primary process 
it is a big story, and it, it's worth the investigation. We're going to spend some time doing that. In the bottom of the hour, I'm going to talk about a presidential election, not our presidential election. The bottom of the hour, we're going to talk about a presidential Pretty election cool. that affects you. The only thing that's powered up is this amplifier. And it's going to happen amplifier before November. Speaker. It happens in July. If you had a high impedance earphone, you could hook it up a new Mexican right across these two terminals. So I'm going to finish on this primary. We will grab some phone calls from you. The, 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 the red and the white wire. I'm going to hear from you on this. Am I out of line by saying, is Listen the handwriting to it in on an the earpiece wall? with no is power Ron required. Is to be the one that's going to win this nomination? And if so, at what point do these other candidates throw their support so it is the best and most green line? Everything from A to Z. Well, yes, that too. But what I'm telling everybody about is that azfirearms.com is having a and huge time buying a 550 KFYI firearms all across Arizona and, and I've got everything the uh, full scope hooked to the detector output. My grandpa left me an old shotgun and it's just sitting on a closet shelf at home. So I can bring it to azfirearms.com and sell my gun. Detected audio I looks like azfirearms.com I sell trays and even consigns your old firearms. Any vintage, any style, military, long guns, handguns, hunting, or home protection. Single items or entire oh, collections. We offer the highest down the value for your used firearms in a safe and friendly environment. Stacked by knowledgeable people. azfirearms.com is in Old Town Avondale while buy and dogs are Come on down to the huge gun buying event every day through April 30th at the biggest little there gun shop is. in Arizona. azfirearms.com Make one amount permanently on a piece of wood and build a little uh, LM386 audio in it and put on it. <laughs> Interesting piece.